touch on very quickly, and this is going to be an independent podcast of tonight, has to do with the male victimization of revenge porn. A lot of people think of someone secretly recording another. They think of that situation as being a male doing it solely. Females are doing it too. Especially if they are active adult film actresses or cam models. And it's unacceptable. It's illegal. And if you're a male and you have been victimized by a woman who's done this to you, from my perspective, you should prosecute her to the fullest extent of the law. And don't let that woman guilt you into not doing so. I'm not going to say who I'm aware of who's done this to someone. But part of the reason why I'm just never going to um, mention her in a favorable light again is because I am knowledgeable about her having done this to someone. I consider filming someone without their consent, especially if you sell the footage, when it comes to um, a sexual interaction, I consider that a form of rape, technological rape, digital rape, because sex is a very intimate act. If someone consents to being recorded and they sign that 2257 paperwork, they sign a model release and they give it to you of their own volition, that's one thing. But secretly recording somebody and taking that recording and selling it for profit without their knowledge or consent or if they know about it and they're upset about it and you still do it, that's very messed up. When you care about somebody, you don't um, try to pull them into a situation that they're not entirely comfortable with. When you care about somebody, you are not okay with them exploiting themselves sexually. I'm sorry, but you're just not. (laughs) When I look at um, certain people in the adult entertainment industry who are like, oh, we have a healthy marriage. We're swingers or we're this or we're that. No, that's not a real healthy marriage. That's one person being very selfish and another person most likely having very low self-esteem and doing anything that they can to keep that person who's very selfish in their life for very unhealthy reasons. But um, when it comes to being recorded without your consent sexually or recording somebody sexually without their consent, don't do it. Just don't do it. It's against the law. If you have done such an act, take that footage down right now. Because as of current, I'm on the fence about making it known what I know about a certain person having done that to a civilian. And this particular civilian who it was done to got so angry. It seems that he didn't know how to properly express his anger and he damaged the person who victimized him's property. Should he have done that in retaliation? No. But forms of rape can make a person very angry. The person who actually victimized the victim is lucky, when I think about it, that he had enough restraint not to damage her physically, especially considering his background. So again, if you're someone who's done that kind of thing, I think that you need to take the footage down from whatever platform it is that you uploaded it to. Right now I'm on the fence about whether or not I want to call out people who I know have done this crime perhaps before I make up my mind in regards to what I want to do about the situation, you just go ahead and rectify the situation yourself. 
and take the footage down. So I'll go ahead and end this podcast right there. Thank you everyone for watching this evening.